This video is sponsored by Game Toppers. Turn your own kitchen or dining room table into a premium portable game solution at a fraction of the cost. Hey everybody, welcome to the Kickstarter preview video for Game Toppers 4.0 Kickstarter. Now I've done a few videos over the years for Game Toppers. They've been a fantastic sponsor for over the last year of the channel. And I'm super excited to bring you some of the new stuff that they're coming out with for the 4.0 Kickstarter. And I'll show you kind of some of the older stuff too, in case you're not familiar with all the offerings that Game Toppers has. Uh, and so one of the main features of the new upcoming Kickstarter, which I'll have a link to below, is all of the game mats. So I've got three of them here that I'm gonna show you. And Berkey from Game Toppers, he sent me pictures of all of the various different mats that they're coming out with. And he says, you know, which ones do you like? You know, which one should I send you to you know, feature on the video? And I was like, all of them. <laughs> um, and honest to God, I know I mentioned their sponsor and I've worked with them a lot over the last few years, but honestly, these are the best mats that I've seen. Um, and I've got mats from some other different companies. They're great mats as well, but these are bar none the best game mats I've seen for a variety of kind of situations, whether you're setting up like a tabletop miniatures game or a board game and that kind of thing. So first thing you can see maybe from this view up here, I've got kind of a scene set up here with some Age of Sigmar stuff. We'll cut the sim B-roll now of what I've got set up here. This is kind of like a blasted battle mat with different craters and all kinds of different strange rocky terrain. And I got a couple of different armies, some ogres and giants versus some storm cast set up here. And I really like this mat because I thought about it and I was like, well, I could set up some 40K stuff, you know, some sci-fi things here, have some kind of like, you know, strange alien planet or moon. And then I'm like, no, this feels like an ancient, crazy fantasy abandoned kingdom type of uh, vibe that I was getting out of it. So I was like, I'm gonna throw some fantasy stuff down on top of this. And I think it looks really cool. And frankly, all the mats that I'm gonna show you look really cool. So let's jump into an older one, which I've shown before. Uh, this is another Age of Sigmar uh, setup. And this is a forest green kind of mat. And you can see in this particular case, I'm making use of the railings that they've got because they have these special grooves where you can insert cards. And so for Age of Sigmar, for example, you've got lots of different stack cards and unit cards and things like that little player aids that you can easily set along kind of the edge of the table, which is a really nice um, kind of thing that it, this setup has going for it. But it's not just miniature games that you can you know, use this setup for. Uh, I've also got some different shots, some different board games. We'll go back to an old one and I'll show you a new one. Uh, this first one here is Return to Dark Tower. Now this table size is set up as a four by four. So the table that I have is a Mycroft. So it's a big six foot by four foot play area for setting up any kind of you know big large scale battles or large board games. But you can pull that middle leaf out of it and then shrink it back down and get a four by four. Or you can also just you know purchase the four by four if that's what you want. And so looking at the Return to Dark Tower here, you can see this is kind of the four by four setup. Plenty of room for a big sprawling game uh, like Return to Dark Tower, even you know that size of game. So we've got some footage of that there. Now I'm gonna show you a different board game. This is Dune Imperium. And Berkey also sent along a desert mat. And I was like, well, I have, to, <laughs> I have to put Dune on a desert mat. So I set this one up on the six foot by four foot. And you can see there's just tons of room available on the table. This has all the expansions for it. It doesn't have the new Dune Uprising that's coming out. It's not out yet. But it has the original base game and the two expansions, all the components out there. And you can see you got tons of room to, you know, it's kind of spread out here. And it kind of gives you a sense of the scale of like, you know, what a board game might look like on this big, uh, table you can definitely set up something like Twilight Imperium and have room to spare and you know big games like Eclipse or Clash of Cultures and that kind of thing um, So this is what Dune Imperium looks like on a desert map, which is really cool. Now. Let's jump back into some miniature setups uh, I've got Going back to the 4x4, I set up a little frost grave uh, set up here, you know winter scene type of thing. If the 4x4 is perfect for like a little skirmish setup, you can set up, you know, little games like this, Frostgrave, Stargrave, Necromunda, you know, take your pick. You can fit a bunch of games on the little 4x4 there. And then again, you can scale it back up. Here we have a, a 40K scene. This is some Death Watch and some demons in battle. Uh, this is a, this is an older mat. This is the kind of the lava mat. I've shown this one before in the channel. It's a really funky, bright, colorful mat. You know, super alien looking. I really like it. Lots of just super vibrant colors that 
kind of contrast nicely with you know some some matte painted miniatures and then i just ported kind of the same army some a little bit of a different setup here on a newer mars mat so it's kind of a mars theme planet scape which actually goes really well because i kind of painted the bases of my death watch uh with a mars base uh because it's a it's a lore thing of my own doing but i kind of made the death watch sort of created by the uh Adeptus Mechanicus. I think there's some lore tidbits in there to kind of link the two back in the history. So anyway, I gave the Death Watch a, a Mars-ish kind of base. So I'm like, oh, this works really cool. It's kind of like the secret ancient homeworld of the Death Watch, which isn't really the case, but in my little lore thing. So yeah, this is a cool kind of Mars theme. You can do like terraforming Mars on this or some other Mars game or whatever, however you want to do that there. So that's kind of sampling of just, just a handful of the mats that are available. Definitely go check out the Kickstarter, which is linked below. There's a ton of mats, like all of the new mats that he showed me, honest to God, I was like, I would take all of these if you sent them to me because there's so many different ones. There's a horror themed one, there's an Old West one. I think I've got an image of the Old West one. He did send it, I'll throw it up here in the video. I'm just remembering that now as I'm recording. That looks really, really neat. Um, but definitely check out the Kickstarter. Um, you'll have good you know, images of all that stuff to check out and just some really cool stuff that you don't necessarily need you know, like a perfectly themed game to go with the Mac because they're just really good quality ones anyway. And like honestly, any of these I would just love to have down there. It just kind of adds that kind of extra nice vibe to uh, the gaming experience. So now I'm gonna show you a couple other things I've shown before on the channel, kind of how to build uh, the table because you know, it's easy to break down and and put back together and take and travel and all that kind of stuff and I'll show you some of that stuff because that's really to me like the main seller of the game toppers is that it's easy to quick quickly break down and build back up and store or transport and that kind of thing so you set up like a really nice kind of luxury type of game table um, but it doesn't like eat up, you know, your half of your house uh, and you can't move it. And then you know, imagine if you moved house. Uh, one thing I did a few years ago is I moved and I, I was thankful that I had a game topper because I was like, this is gonna be a piece of cake. I just gotta break it apart, you know, throw it in the truck and then away we go. It's not some big like giant pool table kind of idea. Uh, so that's a really cool benefit of it. So I'll show you some of the old stuff and we'll come back and I'll show you something new. So we're gonna take this right off here and then you can see underneath here we've got this i believe it's aluminum here um this setup here now if i zoom down over here you can see this little vice grip here so i'm just going to untighten this this is tightened up so you just lefty loosey that thing and you can see it sort of slides up and down here like so and there's another one on the other side that i'm going to do just now so i've loosened both ends now these will slide out very nicely like this and you can see these will come right off here so we're gonna go ahead and slide this out. And so you can see here, this thing comes right out here. So this, when you put these two together, there's these little lips there. You can see the lip right in there. So they're almost like little teeth that will join the two sides. Then you slide this over, righty tighty that. And so that's gonna really hold the whole table uh, together. And so what now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this whole thing out, slide in that middle piece, and then we're gonna use, now there's actually gonna be two grips, one for each conjoining spot that we can do. And so we're gonna do that real quick. So you've got kind of two types of accessories that you can use on the table here. So you've got these kind, which go into the table and they kind of latch in, you can see with this, and then you can move them back and forth like that. So in addition to this one, which is really cool, I'll show you. So you've got like a poker chip style tray and there's like a few others. If you have an older table and you want to get like kind of these new upgraded accessories, you can get these they are perfectly compatible and you know, vice versa. This particular one is a really cool thing. So you got a couple of things here. So this is really sturdy here. So I'll just throw a big old board game on here. Let's throw this on there. And set, that's just gonna hold it perfectly fine. And I put things much heavier than that. If you're in the miniatures world, you could throw you know, a rule book on there, anything like that, any miniatures, you can throw whatever you want on top of there. But it is kind of like a real multi-purpose uh, style thing here. So we'll take this uh, plexiglass off of here. 
So now what you can do is you've got a few different things. This thing here, you can see it's actually kind of flat at the bottom. So if we punch this out, you can see now we have sort of like a little tray inside. So let's pop this back in here. So you've got a little spot to put like dice or components and that kind of thing there. Or if we take these out of here like so, then you can make that cup holder. Or you can have one or the other or both. I mean, you could pump this one back up like this. Just pop this rubber piece back up here. And so you could set stuff on there, have a cup in there. If you wanted to hide your components, you can drop it down like so. Or if you wanted to have, you know, two cup holders, that's perfectly great. So this is a real cool piece. Uh, it's really cool. I just like how it does all these different things. And you've got even like little slots here to put little dice or little tokens or chits or your money for the game and that kind of stuff. And so again, this just pops out. You can slide it back and forth. You could put one of these into it, next to it to, you know, hold other pieces and components there. Now you've also got accessories that are going to go along the rail here like so. Now this is kind of a multi-piece uh, multi-step solution, if you will. Like I was talking about at the beginning where you can kind of go from, you know, one table to the next and then, you know, upgrade and get the table legs and so on as your kind of needs change. This is a similar kind of idea here. So we're going to put these two little pieces on here. You can see this kind of hold along the rail there. And now we have this little piece right here, which I'm just going to jack into those little holes. You can see there, those little pegs. And now you've got here another kind of token tray, which slides up and down. So as you kind of you know, need to be in a certain spot based on where you're sitting. You can do that. You can throw some, some dice or some other tokens in here. Now, the other thing you can do is we can take this here and the, the little legs on the bottom of this here, which you can see here, this little leg here is going to fit into there kind of like a tooth there. So let's kind of go back to this here like so. And then we're going to stick this right in there like that. And now you have kind of an area here where you can make like a little dice tray. You can roll your dice in there. You can put other maybe hidden components inside of that little tray. Keep some other visible ones here. These kind of ridges are, are pretty nice. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. Now the last step to this is let's take these dice out of here. Is you can actually maybe plunk this on one side of the table and then you can stick this in here as a kind of dice tower. So you can take and drop those right in there. You can see they get caught there. And so you have like a little dice tray or you could take the tray off and just have uh, the tower and have the dice go out further on the table if you want to do that. So it's kind of a multi-stage thing and you can kind of use whatever part of it you want. You know, so for like a miniatures game, you may not want anything intruding on the table. So you take this part off, leave the dice tower, or do whatever you want to do there. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is this dining cover. So I've got some pieces of it. This is also a multi-piece thing. You can see I've got some other ones stacked up over here. I have the ends. You can see they kind of rounded corners at the ends. We'll zoom over here. I got these two set up. You can see just like the table that I showed you earlier with the teeth that connects some of the different pieces here, these also have these little lips of these teeth in here. Now I did do some measuring here. So I'm not necessarily interested in this as a dining table because it's just me and my wife right now. Um, you know, if we had a bunch of kids and stuff, it'd be perfect for that kind of situation. But, so what I did is I measured out how deep this goes. So if you have one mat under here, you can see kind of the lip down there. If you've got one mat, I've got a few here right now, but if you've got one mat under here, it's about an inch and a half of space between the bottom of the dining cover and then the floor. If you take the mat out, you've got about an inch and three quarters, just about. So what's nice is that if I have a board game set up and I'm wanting to do this once in a while, and I'll definitely try to do it more now that I have this, this cover thing is, you know, maybe like set up a coin game or something like that to play kind of online or solo and have that set up and then be able to take that and stop and cover the table up with this dining cover to either like maybe play a miniatures game, shoot a video, that kind of thing. So, one of the things that I kind of, I think I mentioned it earlier in one of the parts was kind of the modularity of this whole thing, right? Because in this particular case, it's a little bit specific to this, but you know, you can make this a four by four, stretch it out to a six by four, or break it down and transport it and that kind of thing. So you can kind of get ease into getting to this really fancy thing over a lot of time. And you, because of the generosity of Berkey from GameStoppers, I've been able to kind of do that over the last few years. You know, but you could get the four by four and then you could get a couple of the accessories like you can kind of see over there, the cup holders and the, the little um, trays and things like that. You can kind of stage yourself into it. You don't have to like commit to 
one big, you know, two, three, four, five thousand dollar table, and you've got to order all the accessories and wait 18 months for the thing to come. You know, you can kind of work your way into this. Start with a four by four, work your way up to a six by four, or maybe that doesn't work for you. You know, do the old Watson, which is five, I can't remember the exact size. It's on the Kickstarter. It's like five by three or something like that. And so you can kind of play with that. And then eventually, you know, get up to this, the leg kit that you could get. So you don't even need a table to put this on. Um, and then you can get the dining cover. So just kind of going over here, just to kind of show you the other side of it here, we'll show you one of these pieces and see, it's got the kind of groove there. Now this also comes with a bag similar to the big bags that are used for the actual, you know, table pieces. So it just slides right in here like this. See, it grooves right in, and then we can get the rest of them all the way across, and then it'll be all set up. And you could break this down along with your table, throw them in the big bags, haul them to your friends, or wherever you're going, maybe a game convention, that kind of thing. And then we get these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this up and then throw a mat on top of this just to show you what it looks like. And actually, before I do that, I wanted to mention this. This has these kind of rubber stick pads that are on here. So you get this material on top of that material, it could slide around but all of these are edged with this pad to keep everything from slipping as well. Okay, so there we got the little mat set up on there. You can see you get some you know, space here along the edge. And just so we're clear there, um, this dining cover is not just for the Mycroft. He's got it for the various different sizes. So definitely you know, check out the Kickstarter uh, for all that detail. So anyway, that's a little preview of what's gonna be available in the 4.0 Game Toppers Kickstarter. So thanks everybody.